Let's solve an important Cambridge physics question. An electrical component is connected to a switch and a power supply and the potential difference is constant. Now at time t equal to zero, we close the switch. The current afterwards is given by the following expression. When the current reaches a value if, the component fails and then the current drops to zero. How much electrical energy has been transferred? So the final current IF will correspond to a time T final. Let's rearrange for that to get the T final or TF will be equal to the square root of IF divided by that constant K. In this question, we're looking for the electrical energy, and we know that energy is equal to power multiplied by time, but this equation only works when the current and the voltage are constant, and in this case, they depend on time. In physics questions, when quantities that we're calculating with depend on time, we need to use calculus. If we think about this, the power dissipated at different time will be different because power is equal to I times V and I actually depends on time. And what we'll be doing is summing up all the different energies that have been dissipated over this time period. So what we really need to do to find the energy is integrate the power with respect to time from T is equal to zero to t final. Well, this will just be equal to the integral from 0 to tf of i times v dt, which is of course equal to this integral. Now v is a constant, so let's take that outside of the integral sign. i is just equal to kt squared dt. K is also a constant, so we can take that outside of the integral sign as well. And all we're left with is the integral from zero to tf of t squared with respect to t. When we evaluate that over this boundary, we're going to get, we are going to get kv multiplied by tf raised to the power of three divided by three. But hang on a minute, Tf is actually equal to this expression right over here. And let's substitute that across here. What we're going to get is kv. Now tf is equal to the square root of if divided by k raised to the power of 3 divided by 3, which is of course equal to kv. And then we're going to get IF divided by K raised to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3. And the correct answer is A. Circuit problems are really important for these exams and you need to have a look at this problem right over here on circuits.